Hi everybody, Bob Sekolder, Sekolder Medley Team Remax Properties East down at the Yum Center for another one of these big events. Century Mortgage every year holds this event to talk about the future of 2018 in this case. And the future, as it turns out, looks very good for real estate. I was seven out of eight this year. But uh, the eighth prediction, which I missed on, uh, happened to do with if rates were to go up. Century Mortgage's Jeff Ratanapool predicts every year what interest rates are going to do the following year, and he gets it right. In front of this crowd and others, Jeff talks about how the economy is going to perform in 2018. For mortgage rates are going to stay in check. I think we're going to sit below four and a half, between four and four and a half the whole year long. That's good news, and even if interest rates rose another 2%, to about 6% by the end of 2018, which is highly unlikely. According to Mark Fleming, the chief economist for First American, interest rates would only be where they were back in 2008. Jeffrey Tannepool points out that only on the West Coast are homes less affordable now than they were back in the late 1990. But the big concern by some, are we in a housing bubble? Those polled had mixed reactions. 58% of homeowners said there'll be a housing bubble and price correction within the next two years. 57% of homeowners said that prices are overvalued and unsustainable in their area. And 63% of those polled of non-homeowners looking to buy are concerned about the timing of the market and they want to make sure they're not buying too high. But take a look at this. Unlike the mid-2000s, 2005, 6, and 7, where people were cashing out, in other words, refinancing their home, taking money out of the home and using it to buy cars or go on trips, currently, most people are not doing that. They are simply staying in their homes and letting them build equity. And it was back in 2005, 6, and 7 when people were cashing out that we got into trouble. Homes were actually financed for more money than they were really worth. One more thing to remember is the absorption rate. And take a look at this scale. Greater than seven months of homes on the market and we're in a buyer's market. Neutral between six and seven months. And less than a six-month supply, we're in a seller's market. Well, look what's happening in Louisville. For the most part, homes priced under 700000 are in a very, very strong seller's market. They are in big demand. Jeffrey Tanapool says it is not a bubble we should be worried about. I will tell you, I'm going to predict today that there's going to be a global conflict. Jeff says he believes that global conflict will be something like a face-to-face -face confrontation with North Korea. And that global conflict is actually going to probably push rates down a little bit for a short amount of time. I do think the global conflict is going to be short. And so once that gets over with, then you'll see the stock market pop back out again. You'll see rates move back up again. But I think we're going to sit between four and four and a half the entire year again in 2018. So 2018 is revving up to be a great year in real estate. It all depends, of course, how many homes are on the market in the Louisville area and the rest of the country. So if you're thinking about putting your home on the market this year, now is the time to call me. Pick up a phone anytime, 502-376-5483. Bob Sekoler, 502-376-5483. Down at the Yum Center in Louisville, Bob Sekoler, Sekoler Medley Team, Remax Properties East.